In this video, I'm going to share some tips to help you develop a title block in SOLIDWORKS Electrical with rows and columns. In electrical design, it is often practiced to add page or row information to wire labels. This information is used by electrical technicians during assembly or troubleshooting to trace wires back to their origin within the schematics. I'm going to show you a few tips on adding rows to your title blocks so that this information can be automatically captured onto your wire labels. If you see right now, I have a schematic open and I have rows going down the side and I have wires here that are capturing the row information. So right now you'll see that it's capturing the page, which is 04. And then it's also capturing the row in which the wire started, which is 2. And then it's identified by phase. So this is A phase, B phase, and C phase. So now let's go to our other schematic. And here you see we have a blank title block. It has no rows. Well, we want to identify some rows on this schematic. The first thing we'll need to do is go into our Libraries tab. Then we want to go into our Title Block Manager. In here, we want to copy and paste the title block that we want to use. And then we'll go in and change the name or the description of this title block so that we know which one we're working with. Wonderful. OK. Now that we have that created, we can go into our title block and begin to modify it. The first thing you'll notice is that a new tab opens up over here on the left side, the Edit Title Block tab. And in here you have two distinct things, the Attributes list and the Title Block properties. Well, in order for you to have rows on your title block, you need to have this button with rows turned on. The number of my first row will be 1, and then my first row's position will be at 10.25 units. How I came up with 10.25 is by simply taking a dimension of my title block. And so my row will start right here. And then the height of each row is at negative 6.6.2. And the reason that it's negative is that it's going to start here and go down. How I came up with this number was I knew that I wanted 14 rows. And well, I took another dimension of my usable space. which is 9.14. So then I just divided 9.14 by 14, and that gives me 0.652. All right, so now that I know that I have a spacing of negative 6.52 between each row, and I know that I have 14 rows and I know where they're going to start in the first number. Now I can actually go up to my attributes and begin to add the attributes which will actually produce the information onto the title block. Well, I want to identify where 6.52 is and then draw a line from that area just kind of signifying my row. I'll add in some geometry so that I know where to place my attribute, make it all even and pretty. I'll come over to my attributes list here and I'll go to my miscellaneous tab, which is where my row attribute is and I will place it right in the center of my geometry. I'll select the properties of this attribute 
and change the justification to middle center. That way all of my numbers align right in the center of this node. Okay, great. So now I'm going to go ahead and delete out some of this user attribute that I had in here. I mean user geometry. Clean this up a little bit. And now I'll use the array. So I know that I have 14 rows. I have one column just going down the left side, and I know that they're offset by negative 0.652. I click OK, and all of my rows with my dividing line has been created for me. And that's it. Just that quickly, just that easily, I have defined my rows equally spaced on my title block. So I'll save it, I'll close it, and then I'll go to my schematic 2, and I will replace the title block that I'm currently using with the one I just created, which I conveniently called schematic 2. And now you see I have my rows with my dividing lines all appropriately numbered. Now when I go and draw out my wires, you'll see that I'll get the same information as in the other schematic. I'll number my wires. And to get them to align appropriately, I will select all three of them, determine where I want those wires to be, and align them appropriately as such. And so now you'll see that my wires are picking up that this is page five, row two, phase A, B and C.